Hey everyone, welcome back to a new video. My name is Roshni and this channel is Betty Grew Up. So this video is so, so special. I am doing this in collaboration with my good friend Enos. So she is someone that I have known for a few years now. We actually met through Instagram and we haven't met in person yet, but she just has had such an incredible journey through her work and as a healer. And as you know, I absolutely love nature. I have a lot of vlogs about my life camping and just a lot of information about how nature can really help you in your mental health journey, how grounding can help you with your anxiety, and something that I've been learning more about is about the moon and how the lunar cycle connects to our bodies and our own cycles, and I really am interested in this topic, and as soon as I realized that, I wanted to turn to Enos because she has transitioned her entire business to be about, you know, the lunar cycles and how we are connected to them and just what every new moon means and a new zodiac sign and so I find all this stuff fascinating but I am not an expert by any means and so I wanted to turn to her to explain just the basics of what a lunar cycle is and hello my name is Ines and Roshni asked me to do this video to explain to you a little bit about my work so I am a spiritual coach and a spiritual muse I write I host sacred space for women, I offer lunar alignment sessions, and I teach about the moon phases and also the moon phases that we experience within as a woman, meaning our menstrual cycle. So in this video, I'm going to share with you the different moon phases that we go through every single month and how we can maybe harness a little bit of that mar magic into our everyday life. By just doing very simple rituals and using very simple tools in order to do so. So let's begin. So every lunar cycle begins on the new moon. And so that is the beginning of a new lunar cycle. The new moon represents new beginnings and fresh starts. It is a time to go deep in, in reflection and in introspection and ask ourselves what it is that we want to create more room for in our lives. What do we want to manifest in our lives in the upcoming lunar cycle or lunar cycles? So it is time, it is a time for us to take a step back as the moon itself, she's completely dark in the sky, basically invisible. We don't see her for one entire night because she also knows that she needs to take a step back and be with herself and honor herself, honor that rest and, and nourishing um, energy that she wants to cultivate for herself in order for her to really be and embody her, her, her highest and truest nature. So taking just one step back during the new moon and having an evening to yourself, creating a ritual for yourself, dancing, journaling, pulling cards, you are igniting your inner wisdom that is lying within you, that is just waiting to be accessed. As the new moon represents also our subconscious mind, so our subconscious mind can be more active during the new moon phase. We might have a lot more vivid dreams. We might be more receptive to energy. We might see things a lot clearer. And so having one simple ritual on the new moon would be to make a list of your intentions. I like to keep it super simple and just write down one intention that I desire to manifest in the upcoming lunar cycle. And keep that intention close by. Keep it somewhere where you can really always see it in front of your eyes so that it can really create an imprint as well in your subconscious mind. And then from the new moon phase, we enter the waxing moon phase. When the moon is gaining in light in the sky, it is becoming bigger, it is growing. And with it, energy is increasing as well. So you might feel like this new swing, this new rush of energy coming in. We might feel as well a lot lighter, a lot more playful, a lot more curious. 
um, in our everyday life and the things that we do, the way we go about our daily tasks might be with a lot more playful energy as energy is rising now and we feel more eager and more productive. So with that focus, take a moment during the waxing moon phase, maybe around the first quarter moon when the moon is half full. As from that point in time, energy is especially starting to increase. Maybe on the half moon, take a, a moment of your time to reflect. Use that as an anchor for you to anchor in your energy, anchor in further those intentions that you want to call in. What are the action steps towards your intentions to manifest it, to bring it into fruition? What is it that you need to do? Reflect, journal out the answers that come from within. Focus on the positive. Focus on affirmations. Focus on, on anything that is going to bring you closer to those desired manifestations. And then on the full moon, the moon is fully illuminated in the sky. It can be a very turbulent and emotionally and intense time for, for many because we feel like all of our emotions are being highlighted because it is truly what is happening in the sky. The sun is shining its light completely onto the moon and the moon is shining its light back to us. As the moon represents not only our intuition and the mother and the darkness and the light, but it also represents our emotions. So when the full moon is fully illuminated in the sky it brings out a lot to the surface possibly even our shadows things that we have might want to stick in 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 the darkness and not will have to, to look at for a long time might now all of a sudden start to to come out and to surface and we're suddenly faced with those with those emotions and with those shadows so doing shadow work during the full moon can be really beneficial Journal out what is coming up for you during the full moon. What emotions, what triggers, because that are possibly are blocks in your way towards your manifestations. Also, the full moon is known as the harvest point in time, the harvest season. And she is completely full. She's abundant. She's overflowing with abundance and prosperity. So either your manifestations come through during the full moon or lessons come through that you need to integrate in order to move closer to your desired manifestations. And then from the full moon, we enter the waning moon phase. And that is the phase when, when the moon is decreasing in size. And so during this phase, when the moon is, is becoming smaller and smaller, energy is also starting to descend. It's becoming a little bit more less, less accessible. We might feel a little bit more tired because our body is really telling us, our physical body, our physical being is telling us to wind things down, to take a step back, to, to begin the reflection process, the elimination process as well before we enter a new lunar cycle, as this is the last phase of a lunar cycle. So we want to eliminate as much as possible, energetically, physically, mentally, creating room for, the, for new to come in. So during the waning moon phase, you can journal out, what do I want to see less of? What am I ready to let go of? Many people use the full moon as an anchor, as a point in time to do all of that release and integration work. That is, however, if you're only working with the two main lunar phases of the new moon and the full moon. However, if you work with all of the four main phases of the, of the lunar cycle, then the waning moon would be the point in time to do that release ritual, to do that release work, and then to integrate what it is that you want to embody. So I hope this video was helpful. And if you have any questions, then do reach out. You can find me under my name, Ines Kelly on Instagram. That is I-N-E-S-K-E-L-L-Y. -L -L you can send me a DM. 
you can just reach out and ask me any questions if you have any or if you just want to connect then go ahead i share um regular moon musings um every main lunar phase i share journaling prompts i share rituals from time to time and i also facilitate um online moon circles um as well as moon circles in person and i offer also um lunar alignment sessions for you to connect with that inner wisdom that is that is dwelling within that is just waiting for you to access thank you so much uh for listening and i hope you enjoyed what did i tell you guys she is amazing she is just so sweet and gentle and welcoming so definitely if you have any questions feel free to leave them in the comments below or just feel free to send them over to ines in a dm as she said um, so all of her information is going to be down below. I also made another video recently about me trying my very first burning bowl. So if that's something you're interested in, feel free to click over here and check that video out. And otherwise, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you know when I come out with a new video. And as always, happy healing!